Greetings. Today is April 20th, 2009. Um, an interesting day, one of my favorite days. <laughs> I like that day. Anyway, some people don't like this day. A lot of bad things happen on this day. Hitler's birthday, Columbine shooting, um, a lot of negatives. I like to focus on the positives of today. Um, there are other subcultures that celebrate it. Those are generally the ones that fall around High Times magazine. Uh, they kind of generally celebrate it in a spiritual type setting. So I, I like to celebrate it spiritually and uh, kind of get out and commune with nature. But I figured since I was going to do that, I figured in such a beautiful day today, that might as well kind of do a little, uh, you know, spirituality with some training at the same time. So we're doing a simulated bug out situation today with my good friend Abogdu. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so basically what has happened so far, uh, it's, a, it's a Monday morning. Uh, I was at school. I had determined that it was no longer safe. So I had to get the hell out. So I segue back to my house. That took me about 10 minutes. Um, I have no gear loaded. I have my gear pretty much in my prep area where I keep it generally. Um, and so now what's going to happen is we're going to load it up very quickly, as quickly as possible, and then we're going to hit the road. My time limit on that is going to be about, um, about one hour. Uh, I think I can do it a lot faster than one hour, um, hopefully about half an hour. But in this situation, we're not taking everything in the kitchen sink. Uh, this is my first time actually really doing it like this, so we're kind of going to do like a... Um, um, Making sure we have the basics covered, you know, long-term food, cooking stuff, um, basic shelter supplies. We're doing a vehicle bug out today, which is, I recommend it if you're going to bug out. If you're going to walk, that's the suck. I don't recommend that one. It takes too long. So, um, so let's get started. Basically what happened, uh, I got home and a quick bite to eat because I'm kind of hungry. And then um, I changed clothes really quick. Um, so it's kind of you know, not generally my uh, everyday wear, but uh, so I'm ready to go. So my first thing to do is I want to get in the right clothes so I'm right in the right uh, working mindset. So now the next, next thing we got to do is we got to load the vehicle. The way I want to load the vehicle is I want to start with the least important things that I need uh, and we're going to load those first because those are going to go in the back. Um, also we're going to kind of load, how are we going to do this? Um, what I want to do is I have three main areas where I'm going to grab stuff from. I have like my upstairs, I have um, my garage, and I have a backyard. Okay. So what I want to do is you, if, if you're bugging out for real and you're, you have you know, time is critical, you want to try to do it as efficiently as possible. So uh, my goal is to try to t make the minimal amount of trips to load the truck as possible and then get on the road without forgetting anything. That's key. So let's do this. All right. So. Okay. So in here I got a bunch of crap. Now normally the, a lot of this stuff that I have uh, laid out here, I have, uh, I have some buckets of food. I have my AWOL bag. Uh, uh, I got my sleeping thing. I got some other gear. This is generally all in my uh, uh, in another secure storage area, but I kind of have it laid out today just for this filming exercise. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna load up some food for long-term food storage. I'm not actually gonna bring any food today. I'm just gonna simulate it by loading up a couple buckets, um, and then we're gonna take the rest of the stuff though. So we're simulating today two buckets, which we generally hold. Uh, you might probably want to bring more if you're gonna bug out for a long time. But these buckets can simulate, uh, they can either hold rice, they can hold uh, um, any kind of dried food, stuff like that. Generally, I pack rice and I pack, uh, I can never think of the goddamn thing, those beans. Legumes, yeah, yeah, the good ones. So maybe bring like a, a bucket of those and a bucket of those, right? So we'll just simulate those, we'll load these up first. All right. Trip one. I have this new method I'm going to try out here, and I haven't really. It's more of a method and test. If you're bugging out, you're also going to want to grab, you know, basically your general survival gear, but you're also going to want to grab um, important documents and wealth. And I recommend a, a way to um, transport them, but also secure them while you're doing it. Some sort of like large, maybe metal box. You can use like a big ammo can, but the features that I was looking for is you want something big enough to hold like eight and a half by eleven documents, which I'm going to fill it with some of these uh, papers I need to shred as simulation today. So here's my birth certificate, um, stuff like, you know, birth certificate, um, uh, any like deeds of title, anything, the property you own, insurance documents, stuff like that that you would want and you need to pr have proof of later, that would be good to have. As well, this, like, this one's pretty big, so I'm going to also use it to store um, digital media. If you have hard drives, if you have laptops, laptops are hard to fit in this because it's small, but if you have small ones enough, like a netbook will go in this. Um, if you have anything that like um, physical wealth. So if you have, let's say, something like precious metals, you would throw that in there for some weight. 
uh, some hard drives or something like that, anything like that, and you would have, uh, hopefully you would have it pre-organized so you can just kind of grab it and go. Ideally, you maybe have a binder with all this stuff in it, you just grab the whole binder and go. That'd be a good way to go about it. Now, since, so let's, we'll just, we'll just simulate that we got most of the uh, important documents good to go, so we'll lock that up. Now we need, um, we're going to need guns, because who doesn't need guns, right? So we'll grab some ammo here, because that'll just be fun. And we'll get our guns ready for transport. Today we are bugging out with some, um, well you got your basics, you have shotguns, rifles, your bandolier, you know, because you got to, I mean, you got to look the part. <laughs> As you can see, everything's going to take a little bit of time. Now you can always store your stuff like this, um, you know, ready to go, but you know, make, you can't really, it's hard if you have a safe, if you're properly storing your weapons. You know, you keep them ready and you can just kind of load them up as needed. Throw it in there. Oh, I didn't plan for that. See, look at, see, this is the thing. You don't plan for this. Look, it doesn't fit right. So we gotta drop the scope. Oopsie, we're losing, we're losing time, dude. The roads are clogging as we speak, preventing us to get through our bug out location. So we will pack our rifle. Bam. One rifle pack, one shotgun pack. idea how this should look would be a good idea a good way to go about that when you kind of pack it this is kind of rough I have to add a couple things here it is a work in progress always we're gonna put boots on normally you already have boots on but we're gonna we're waiting those on last now today we're also gonna bring um, our tactical vest and some other stuff miscellaneous stuff here handbooks magazines knee pads uh, should probably be a little bit better packed, but like I didn't really pack this that well. This is kind of how I have it, so I have to kind of deal with it the way it's set up now. And the tack vest. <sighs> my ammo would generally be in ammo cans, but I'm not taking all my ammo today because there's no need for that. So we're just taking a few, few key rounds. Now, so we're starting to get disorganized here, but I have a plan for that. I'll have a plan for this. Now for this truck, I built something a little bit ago. Maybe I should have put this in first. We're going to deploy it now. Okay. In the garage area, I have some actually cooking stuff we're taking with us today. We have a, uh, a Dutch oven. So uh, we break that in. Cook some chicken on that, I think, later. But we're not going to load that quite yet. I think we're actually going to load that stuff last. Some more of our cooking stuff. But this little organizer here. here and we have a tiered system where most of that stuff is hidden underneath not generally visible uh, you still have some sort of organization uh, quick access to it but uh, we have a little bit of um, camouflage with it too so that's key so that's not too bad we're almost we're almost finished with the upstairs so far okay we're calling that room good we're just bringing down our boots and um, basically our world wealth paperwork stuff like that in this box I have three boxes I generally keep. Um, I use these these Rubbermaid boxes. This one's labeled with a C. This is basically all my cooking gear. I have some other boxes like this that'll contain food, supplies like that. Um, so we'll get these loaded up. Just try to figure out how everything fits in there. Like I said, I've never actually done this before. This is kind of my test. You're doing good, I think. Oh. Now, 
I have a couple of little ones. These are generally, um, I have these above. I had these down just to kind of see what I actually still had in these. And uh, these ones don't work real good. I don't know. They're okay, but the food, you know, I put these in a bunch a long time ago. It's just like, you know, what, what was I thinking at the time when I packed these? But we'll grab one more. Now, most of my garage stuff I normally keep up here. Um, those boxes are kind of getting a little heavy when I bring them. And uh, so I just kind of brought them down earlier. Generally, I'd also probably bring some stuff from here. some MREs and stuff like that up here would be great to grab. Um, another big tent, you know, but I'm kind of weighing whether or not I'd bring that tent or not. I guess it can't hurt. Um, and if I have probably room, I'll probably throw it in there. Not necessarily uh, needed, I don't think, the camp stove, but uh, we're bringing some other cooking utensils as well, but that's a lot easier if you can't, if it's real wet, something like that, you just need a little smaller, that should just flame on, you can do it in a smaller area, it's supposed to have a fire, if you're worried about smoke, light, something like that at night, that'd be a, a good good option for you. We still have to deal with all our world's wealth, so we'll get that in there. burner. This is a secret. This is uh, armor plating or <laughs> anti-tank round. <laughs> this is actually a giant log um, made from a plow, a plow blade uh, that my friends made for me. And we're going to fire that up. That's some good for some... You never had breakfast that you had it cooked on a plow blade, let me tell you. Okay. Now we got... A lot of our good tools so far. We have, uh, security with weapons. We have ammo. We have um, cooking. We have our AWOL bag, which is basically your, your main essentials. Um, but now we're going to get into some some uh, some food stuff. Generally, I use a five-gallon water cooler jugs, but for the, today we're just going to load up this. This is, I think, a three or I don't know. It's, it's enough for uh, we're just doing a one-day bug out. So we're going to fill this up. We're going to load up our cooler. Generally, what happens, right? So you're getting out of there, man. The power could be out, um, and your frozen food isn't like you know not frozen yet, <laughs> right? So what you can do is you can still save a lot of that stuff. Um, I keep I, I actually keep ice in my freezer. I just take old Tupperware ones that I lost the lids for, and I, I freeze them. And then instead of having to worry about buying ice at the store, I already got big chunks of ice like ready to go. And uh, it works better if you can just pop them out of the Tupperware, but sometimes they don't like to. That one works quite good. Okay. So at this point, you would uh, you grab you know a bunch of meat and stuff like that that you have out of your freezer, and you can throw it in there so you can cook it up. You know, it'll take a little bit to unfreeze, which is good. You know, you can do that. Today we're gonna simulate um, the weight of the meat with uh, another. Well, we're gonna go liquid meat. And we're gonna go with beer. That's how we're simulating that today. Um, only the finest when you bug out. I recommend Miller High Life. It is the champagne of beers. Uh, you know. So we'll love some of that today. Because it's going to be sucky enough, right, if you already got a bug out. And generally, I mean, you got to keep this in mind. You know, a bug out is not going to happen when you want it to. It's going to happen at the worst possible time. You're going to be sick. Your girlfriend just broke up with you. It's going to be probably Friday, and the roads will be fucking packed. You know, I mean, it's, it's just not going to be convenient when it happens, which is, you know, it's, it's horrible. Oh, we'll grab some butter today. Why not? And egg. And, okay. So also going to want to bring some, uh, if we have any, like, leftover um, goods we can use, like potatoes. It'll stay a little bit, you know, you can get some good, uh, um, get a little meal from that. Maybe in, uh, maybe some onions if you got them, you know, you definitely got to eat with that. I mean, you got, you got eggs, potatoes, and uh, onions. Man, you got breakfast right there. You can't go wrong with that. Um, Carbohydrates, protein. Exactly. Beer. Beer. It's own food group. Yeah, I need some seasoning. Bam. Probably gonna need more beer. But other than that, so you know, whatever cooler you got, you throw whatever frozen food you can in. Of course, in a real bug out situation, you're gonna want to go with actual food. 
whatever frozen food you have. Um, if you still have canned foods on the shelf, you probably want to grab your canned foods if you got the room. Uh, definitely, you know, in this situation, we're just kind of grabbing real quick stuff. You know, maybe this is more like a uh, maybe a five to ten day bug out with the uh, with the big uh, with the big things of uh, rice and uh, beans. You could probably get by on that for you know five to ten days, and then the stuff in the uh, the stuff in the uh, the other containers. You know, Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna fill Hard work. I know. Whew. Yeah, this is why you eat lunch first, because <laughs> you will you will be hungry after this. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, you know, a bug out is it, never gonna happen when you want it. It's probably gonna be in the winter. The weather's gonna be shitty. It's gonna be you know Friday. You're gonna be sick. Everything's gonna be wrong. You know, and so this is why you practice these is because if you can do it now when it's easy, when hopefully when the time comes and everything's fucked up, you can do it a little better. And I recommend when you do do it, if you can simulate some of that shit, like maybe Friday afternoon would be a good time to do it because you know the cracker's going to be shitty then. Um, you can do it if you're like really, I don't, you know, you won't feel like doing it when you're really sick, but if you're sick, you could go do that. Um, I don't know. Hungover is another good one. If you don't want to, if you want to simulate sickness, you can just do it when you're really hungover. That's always fun too. <laughs> So this will pretty much conclude, after we fill this up and load the ice chest, the, uh, the garage segment. Then we only have one more segment. We're going to grab some, um, uh, some of our prime tools. We're going to raid our tool shed. We're going to grab some propane for that uh, burner so we have an extra fuel source. And uh, we should by that time pretty much be packed and we will hit the road so we can obviously avoid the zombie apocalypse that is you know, going to befall us. And uh, you know, now whenever... Bugging out, you have to kind of determine the situation whenever you're going to bug out. You probably pre uh, predetermined parameters that will happen uh, will say, okay, now I actually have to leave. Obviously, you generally don't want to bug out. If you can bug in, that's probably your best way to go. Only on the worst circumstances, you know, you probably should be like leave the safety of your home because if it is that bad where you have to leave, others are probably going to have that idea. It's going to be hard to get to where you're going. It's going to be a lot of issues. And when you get there, what are you going to do, you know? Um, so, if you can't bug in, bug in, because um, it's easy. Then you don't have to load all this. You just come home and you start drinking the beer instead of loading up the beer. And, you know, you get your guns ready because that's more fun. But, obviously, that won't happen because that would be convenient. And that just can't happen in an actual bug-out situation or an emergency situation. Convenience not, not going to be on the list. <laughs>